what challenges are you facing as a department that lead to maybe slowing down of completion of projects and even the the, the, the perceived failure to manage operationalize and to sustain water projects what are the major challenges because the next thing that we will need to get out of this conversation is the way forward we've learned about the challenges the monanchi has expressed their frustrations or, or even think that they are feeling on how projects are being done and why they are not uh, benefiting them so what challenges are you facing in your department when it comes to delivering services to monanchi uh, we have got a myriad of challenges and i want to begin on one of the challenges which is touching on all of us as a staff of the department of water as budget champions as uh, the local leaders and even the beneficiaries down there in the community and this is uh, how to manage rural water supplies currently uh, and I think we need to take it seriously. We we are struggling, or we are trying to get away where we can get funds to f develop a water policy. A water policy will address how we can be able to manage a small community water supplies, such that uh, if, like the situation at the moment now, a certain village uh, has benefited from a bowl. The nearby village may be around uh, less than a kilometer. Needs another bowl. Yet this bowl is in the first village. is not uh, adequately utilized. It is having a few people. And there is no reason of drilling another bowl there. The best thing is uh, to pipe the water here to the other side to benefit more people instead of drilling another bowl. Such that uh, the effect is that uh, we drill a bowl here, we, another, we drill another bowl in the other village because the community says it is our budget, it is our project. But if we add a policy which can address the uh, issue of sharing, such that if this uh, community did uh, drilling, the other community has got a budget for water and they do not have a bowl. We can use it to equip this bowl. In the next financial year, we get money for piping. That's why I'm saying the uh, issue of management of small rural water supplies is an issue for all of us. And this will be solved once we get a participative approach on a county water policy. And needs needs uh, support uh, financially and even in uh, in the discussions from partners even uh, even said GG. so that is one of the challenges mm -hmm. uh, the second challenge is about staffing uh, you find that uh, we have got uh, aging workforce most of our staff have retired for the last three years when i joined the government government we around uh, may 2019 i witnessed about uh, 30 staff who retired but uh, because of the national government uh, policy I, uh, directive i mean on freezing on employment we the county government was not able to to replace these people who retired have got uh, have worked with the county government for long they have a lot of experience and then when they when they leave and there is no replacement it becomes a a, a huge uh, issue to the, to the department and so one of our problems is staffing mm -hmm. but uh hoping that in the one. next ne in the near future or in the ne next few months mm -hmm. there will be recruitment and it will uh, solve that issue okay uh the third the third uh, the, the third issue is about uh, this uh, recurrent budget 
you say that we were utilizing the current budget up to 102 uh, percent and I just want to bring in the reason why our current budget is always 100 percent one is our Grandich uh, water supply company Grandich water supply company is serving us in Cabernet town uh, the bills the pumping the electricity cost incurred by the company in pumping water down from the valley, from the dam itself, that from the dam to the reservoirs or the tanks in Grandich is 351 meters. That is very high. The cost of pumping, that is very high. And the connections to consumers is still very low. We have, a connect, we have connections of about 4,000. Those are legal connections who have got meters. But uh, due to some ch other challenges, the operational connections are about 2,000. And therefore, the collection from Kirandichi Water Company is not able to foot the bills of electricity. Remember, Kirandichi Water Company is a company owned by the county government of Baringa, but it is semi autonomous. It is working outside the county but it belongs to the county uh, the county government through the department of water now comes in to support Grandich water company in paying some of the bills in fact through that uh, recurrent budget we are paying about 35 million to foot bills of electricity for our for our company which is a uh, providing water to, to residents here. We also purchase uh, uh, treatment uh, chemicals for, water, for, 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 for this uh, company. So you find the budget for recurrent, you will reduce about 40 million first. Then you can now say this is the amount which is being used by the department to operate all over the county, to pay staff, to use uh, fuel for vehicles. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying our current budget is not commensurate to the development budget provided. And the end result will be, uh, in most cases, uh, difficulties in facilitating staff. Uh, another challenge is about uh, security, and I do not have uh, to explain so much about security. Sometimes security issues affect implementation. Wakati kuna shida uko, tiati, contractors wanakataka kuenda. Some contractors are awarded projects in Mkutani and Iljamus Ward, almost at the border. They delay in implementation because of security.